<laughs> What's up guys, more Medic One here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm excited to be back. And let me tell you, I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Guys, I'm always on the prowl for tools that are just indispensable that you need for uh, your lawnmower shop. And the good folks over at Topden sent me the BT100 battery tester. We're going to, of course, it's just in a little blister pack, so no big unboxing reveal here. Just We're just going to get it opened up, and we're going to get this thing on a battery and see how it turns out. But here's the kicker. Not only are we going to test the BT100, but we're going to put it up against our Snap-on battery analyzer. We're going to go ahead and get it unboxed here, but let's just flip it over. And uh, this is basically some of the stuff that it can do. It's going to tell you whether it's good or bad, or if it needs to be charged or replaced. It does the battery test. It does a charging system test and a cranking test. And the, uh, the amp hours or the cranking amps that this is rated for is between 100 and 2,000 amps. So this can do just about any battery that you're going to deal with in the small engine world or automotive. I've got a couple of batteries here on the bench that we're going to test that are known to be uh, bad and I'm going to show you how bad they are because this tester does a few things outside the box than the snap-on tester does and that's one of the reasons I like the Topton BT100. Just get it undone there. Got that clamshell. And guys, I've been playing with this tester already before I started making this video. And uh, let me tell you, I'm impressed with this little guy. So let's go ahead and hook it up to the battery and see what we've got. Guys, I'll try to link a card right up here uh, for the video that I did about uh, smart chargers and how dumb they are. All right, so we've got the battery tester hooked up here, and as we can tell, we've got 12.61 volts in this battery. So let's go ahead and hit enter, and we're going to do a battery test. There's all your options, cranking, charging, and how to set up the, you can change the language, battery test. Now, this is a regular flooded battery. So hit enter, and the cold cranking amps on this battery is 540. Hit enter again. The up arrow makes it to where it, you can increase the cranking amp capacity. There's five. Almost there. There's 540 right there. Okay. Now we hit enter again. And that's going to test it. It's very important to know what uh, cranking amps says it's a dead battery. And if we take a look here, and this is the good part of the, that I like about this, is that it actually gave you a the milliohms of the internal battery which is 36.59 and that's almost shorted completely out we've got the uh, 12.60 which is a good surface charge but it's only it only had 82 cranking amps the red light shows to be bad all right, let's unhook this and get our snap-on expensive battery tester, and let's see what it has to say. All right, we've got the snap-on battery tester hooked up to that known dead battery. Let's just for grins and giggles. Electrical system diagnostics. Let's see what the what the man says here. Test. And we're not going to put a customer number in. We never do. It's going to be out of the vehicle. 
it is a top post got a glare right there don't we top post hit enter and it's automotive and it's a regular flooded cranking amps 540 hit go testing two inches above the battery which is kind of redundant but we'll do it anyway replace battery 85 cranking amps in that battery and 12.50 volts and the battery temperature was 75 it's a little bit warm in here but just to show that the accuracy of the Topden T, uh, the 100, the BT100, is very, very close to the expensive Snap-on uh, battery tester. Now let's switch gears here, and we're going to test the battery that's in this uh, club car, golf cart. Uh, I'm pretty sure this battery is good. I tested it, and it shows to be good uh, with both testers, but I just want to show you guys what a good battery is. Uh, does whenever you use the battery tester. All right, we've got our snap-on battery tester hooked up. Let's go ahead and get it fired up. Snap-on electrical system diagnostics. Battery test. You want to put in vehicle. It's a side post, kind of like a Chevy automotive, and it is a regular battery. And what is the cranking amps on this one? 540 also, so it's already in there. Go ahead and hit test. It's going to want me to put the battery charger over the battery. I guess just for a temperature reading. Good battery. Look at there. 640 cold cranking amps in this 540 rated battery. So this battery is super healthy. And uh, we got 12.75 volts. This battery is good and hot. Now let's hook up the Topton BT100 and see what kind of results we get here in just a second. Alrighty, we're at 12.79 volts, 77, 770. Let's go ahead and click enter. And for the battery test, we've got a regular flooded. The cranking amps is also 540. Testing. Look at there, good battery. 671 amps in this battery we're at 12.34 after testing look at there four point only four mega ohms of resistance through those cells these cells are almost i mean this battery is good and healthy that's one of the things i like about this is it actually tells you the internal resistance of the battery and it does say that it's a good battery and it just says please recharge which is probably true because it's just been sitting here and sitting here and that's awesome because even though the battery is good it's just letting me know to just throw a charger on it the snap-on uh, tester didn't say whether it was needing to be charged or not so that's cool that's a cool feature on this definitely Alrighty, I got that battery charged up. I charged it for a few hours with the smart charger, and we are testing good. We got 661, and only four, like we're still at 4 mega ohms of resistance, and it's 540 rated, and it's got 661 amps. This battery is good to go. In my honest opinion, this is a must-have if you're going to be doing electrical work 
on lawnmowers, especially the ones that have, you know, uh, electric clutches and all kinds of accessories. You need a good hot battery, and this little Topton BT100 is going to let you know the health of your battery. I'm going to put uh, a few links below in the description, and I'll pin the first comment in the comment section. We'll have all the information as well. Just remember that the affiliate links that uh, I post in my comments and in the description, uh, it only helps my channel. I don't get a whole lot of revenue off of that, and it doesn't cost you a single penny to buy from my uh, links. If you find something cheaper, let me know. I'll put that link in there as well. And uh, guys, if this helped you out, please give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And while you're there, as always, go ahead and click that bell so that you get all my new notifications and videos. Y'all have a good rest of your day. More Medic One.